everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to what I think is the first driving with John Chow in 2018. Wow, I, I can't believe I haven't done a driving episode in like forever, <laughs> forever. I guess I've been doing the daily vlog and it's kind of taken over, but I figure it's, it's time to get back and start doing driving with John Chow again. Uh, and it's a great time to do it now because right now, uh, happening in Switzerland, Geneva, Switzerland, is the Geneva Auto Show. Yep, happening right now. And I've been watching the news on my new automotive news feed uh, come in and with all the fancy new cars that's being shown in Geneva and stuff. And it's pretty exciting, uh, pretty damn exciting. Like uh, so far, the uh, the most impressive vehicle I've seen is the new uh, Remac Concept 2. I actually posted a, a press video of the Concept 2 uh, before this video. You want to see it? Uh, go check it out. But this new, uh, this is a new EV supercar from Croatia. It has 1900 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, 1914 to be exact. And the 0 to 60 in 1.85 seconds. Uh, 0 to 186 miles an hour in like less than 12 seconds and top speed is like 200 and almost 260 miles an hour. It's uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. And of course it comes with a pretty crazy price as well. One point, well over a million dollars, no, no price yet, but they're only going to make 150 of them. And also if you haven't ordered one right now, you're probably not going to be able to get one. However. You know, for all the amazing specs and technology that's in the car, the Tesla Roadster, the upcoming Tesla Roadster that I actually ordered uh, way back when Elon showed it off, is actually faster than this uh, Remax Concept 2. So, wow. And it's a lot cheaper too. Tesla Roadster is only a quarter million dollars. This thing is like, well, at least a million, if not more. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, right now I am driving to school to pick up Sally and then we're gonna go home but uh, keeping with the automotive theme I want to answer a question that I got recently from a view on YouTube channel on my YouTube channel and he and he asked what is the difference between this Tesla and my my former Jaguar F type can you describe the two like uh, which one I like more that kind of stuff and now that I'm driving this Tesla a lot more, uh, I can tell you quite a few of the difference. Uh, the first one is the, the Tesla has a lot more room. Duh. I mean, it's, it's just seven people, a lot more room. It's generally a more comfortable car, much, much quieter. The Jaguar with that exhaust system is like, wow, crazy loud, crazy loud. This thing is, it's pretty much silent. I don't, I mean, yeah, pretty much silent. But the biggest difference performance wise is uh believe it or not the this thing is faster yeah this is actually faster than my jaguar like it go it does 0 to 60 in like three seconds so it's uh it's quicker than a jaguar it doesn't handle as well as a jaguar but uh you know with if, if we we're both going like right now 60 miles an hour if the jaguar is here and i'm testing and i'm right here and we both step on the gas i will just disappear on on, on the jag just disappear on it <laughs> and the other thing is, you would figure, you would kind of think that the uh, the test the, the Jaguar would attract more attention because it's a red it's a red sports car. But amazing enough, no, that's not that's not the case. The, this Tesla actually attracts more attention than the Jag, mostly because of those Falcon doors that you know they 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 Falcon they they Falcon up. So uh, because of that. Kids love it. I mean, <laughs> so this thing actually attract, attracts more attention. Uh, but yeah. But overall, I would say if I were, if I have a choice of driving only one, you know, which one would I take? Uh, in the end, it would be it would be the it would be the Tesla. Yeah, it would be the Tesla Jaguar. It's uh, more of a weekend toy for fun. You know, it's a. Uh, for when you feel like just making some noise and being loud. So, but as an everyday car that you can live with, uh, the Tesla's far, far better. Just a lot more room. And 
the autopilot. I mean, oh, the autopilot on this thing. I, from now on, I am never buying a car that does not have autopilot. I mean, if, if the car can't drive itself or can't can't basically drive on the highway, no. I mean, especially now, or you know, that now that I, I live where I'm living, and in order to go to my dot com lunch, I always had to take the highway before I just drove on the city street. So I hardly ever use the Tesla's autopilot. But now that I'm always to go to dot com lunch to pick Sally from school, I'm always on a bit of a freeway here and the autopilot. I and mean, I get on there, engage it, and it just it just drives itself. And I feel then I can just like do driving John Chow well fear of people saying, Hey, keep your eyes on the road. You know, no, I don't have to because the car's doing it for me. That's right. So uh yeah. And so far, like I said, I am still going to drive this car for like a month or two months to see if I really do need a second vehicle. Like, uh, you know, if I, oh, by the way, uh, ever since, ever since I, uh, I did my buying versus leasing and using that, that, uh, that Austin Martin DB11 as an example, and I show you how you can get a DB11 pretty much for free if you lease it under the current uh, and the current subsidized lease they have. Ever since I did that, and at the time when I did that video, uh, Austin Martin Newport Beach had five of those DB11s still on the lot. Uh, but since that video came out, they're down to one. <laughs> they're down to the last one. So they actually called me up and say, hey, John, uh, if you want it, we got one call left. So if you really want it, you should come in right now and, and get it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm still not going to go for that kind of, you know, I know they're applying a little bit of a pressure and stuff, but uh, no, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna drive this for a month to see if I actually do need another car, and so we'll see. Uh, but so far, I mean, so far, uh, I, yeah, there has been no situation where I needed a car and my wife needed a car. So so far, one car is doing it, but uh, like I said I want to go for a full month to actually see what it is and see if I actually do need one. So, yeah, and that is. Uh, yeah, that, that's it for this driving with John Chow. Uh, uh, I may have more car-related content. After all, there is a Geneva Auto Show happening right now, and there's a lot more cars to show. And and I'm getting all these like I am I am part of the automotive press. Yeah, that one of the advantage of having a a, a blog is that uh, the all these big Fortune 500 company considers me a member of the media. As a result, they can, you know they send me all this information and videos and stuff that I, I can post. So I will have quite a few uh, related content about that kind of stuff. So hey, yeah. And if you want to see more, just let me know in the comments and uh, I welcome your feedback on any of this stuff. So I'm pulling up to school now. So I'm going to end this little, this little rambling rant at uh, this rambling thing and uh, end this, uh, end this driving episode right now. So I welcome your feedback. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Let me know what you think. If I actually should get another car, if I should just keep this as it is. I'd love to hear you. I'd love to hear what you had to say about that. But in, but in the meantime, yeah, give me a thumbs up, uh, like and share my video, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.